We kind of went into this thinking, what could we do to kind of separate ourselves from, you know, the common flow of things? So we figured, let's do drums to tape. Let's do, let's go crazy. I don't know. Let's, let's just be creative and kind of throw the rule book right out the window day one. Everything you've done up until now is perfect. I just want right. to eighth note roll into the very end. Okay. So it's that. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, you got it. We went up to Baltimore and we had awesome live room to track in. I mean, I had any number of cymbals I could think of. 10 snare drums at once just kind of switching out. Taylor would yell up and be like, oh, switch the snare. Be like mid-song, be like, yeah, switch the snare. You know, you, you need you need more dynamics or something. I, I don't know. And it was it was like, cool. I've never had the opportunity to really sit down and, and do that before. Switching out snare drums. We got a lot to choose from, so it's kind of nice. I'm thinking on that hit, open hi-hat and snare, like Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, man, go do it. That all sounds great. Talk, good I, talk, good talk. I loved everything you yeah. just saying to me. Sick. This this was a process, a serious, serious process, and it was awesome. Every second of it, I loved it. Loved it to death. We made it our own. We made it real, and, and it's it's pretty cool. It sounds great. I really like it. Yeah, this one's sick. It adds to that dynamic, and it adds with just the vocal creepiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ghost, ghost notes creepiness. It's all, you know, that's why you did it, right? Mm -hmm. If it was a happy song, you can't do ghost notes, because that's not creepy. Yeah, you have your happy, happy notes. came up to us and said, uh, Spencer uh, Satello from Periphery, he, he would like to uh, work on the record. I think it's a great idea um, to do some vocal production. Alright. Before I came down here, everything was in its place. So when Spencer jumped on board, me and him really collaborated to get the best of what I had. He worked with me and catered to not only my vocal ability, but my vocal range. And what was really gonna work to keep Justin and I as a unit. Behind you, and you're, yeah. you're repeating the screaming. Okay. Um, the lyrics are super personal, which was very weird for me because I felt like I held back a little bit on the EP. All this inspiration Spencer's been talking about going like a little bit deeper vocal. Yeah, it's machine has seen its day, has seen its day, or so they say. Same words, same rhythm, just a, a lighter version. I think it'd be sick. That'd be sick, yeah. Wanna try it now? Yeah. Alright. Damn. He pushed me and Matt to a new level, and he's a huge part of the record. It's it's pretty amazing collaborating with someone who's at a caliber as him because you really get everything out of you, and I feel like you get the best work. It's great. Let's get some doubles on that. Okay. Free us from the guilty throne. The cries from mouth to mouth. This record kind of gave me a voice in Tooth Grinder, and it's something Justin and I had both been working on for a long time and trying to get to. Sick. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for a perfect start. Yeah, I'm waiting for a perfect start. 
little more Australian on the accent, we'll be all right. Waiting for some chips and beans. <laughs> <laughs> and a tea. <laughs>